In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding values of trigonometric functions given information about an angle, problem type 1. In this example, we're given the point 512 and told that it is on the terminal side of theta, and then we're asked to find the exact values of cosine, cosecant, and tangent. And the first thing I notice is that the point 512 is not on the unit circle. But I can see that graphing it on an xy axis, the angle theta would still be the angle that the line going through the origin in 512 would make with the positive x axis. And I can see that this does create a right triangle. So I can use right triangle trigonometry, where the distance along the bottom is 5, the other leg of the right triangle is 12. And so we can determine the length of the hypotenuse here from the Pythagorean theorem. C squared would have to be 5 squared plus 12 squared. So C is the square root of 25 plus 144, the square root of 169 or 13. So our hypotenuse is 13. And now from here for the right triangle, we can use our mnemonic so ga toa to first find the sine of theta as being the opposite over the hypotenuse. 12 is the opposite. 13 is the hypotenuse. So 12 over 13. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 5 over 13. And then tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 12. Adjacent is 5. So 12 over 5. And from here, I can also identify the other trigonometric functions. So the inverse of sine is cosecant. So the cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of 12 over 13. So 13 over 12. Likewise, the secant of theta would be the reciprocal of the cosine. So instead of 5 over 13, 13 over 5. And the cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent. So the reciprocal of 12 over 5 is 5 over 12. So we have found all six trigonometric ratios, including those three that were asked for. 